Today, I'm gonna show you how to set up tokens so you can have a commoner for every occasion. I can just drag and drop a token onto the board and it'll create a random commoner for this tavern. This will work for both PF2E and DND, although some of the steps here might be slightly different if you're doing DND. There's two ways of doing this. One is by paying money and having the tokens made for you, and the other one is free but takes a little bit of effort. I'm gonna show you both in this video. Whether you're gonna do the free version or the paid version, the steps in the video are going to be exactly the same. The free version has an extra step, which I'll talk about at the beginning. Otherwise, this will require you spending 60 of your hard-earned US dollars for this. If you don't want to spend 60 bucks, you're going to have to make each token manually, which is fine. Just go to tokenstamp.com. I'll put the link in the description below. Set up as many tokens as you can find of images you can find, and then put them all in the folder, as I'm about to show you here right now. You got to buy the character gallery for Foundry VTT that has, like, a thousand two hundred tokens that's a lot all right once you download and install the module the next thing you need to do is create an actor called well commoner actor make it an npc and i would change the sheet to be a simple npc sheet the next thing we need to do is go to prototype token go to appearance and then where the image path is you're gonna have to find the path of where the tokens are from the character gallery you just bought put the full path in text in case you get lost doing it from the module directly is a little messy so there's a better way of doing this i'll highlight this later but let's do the easy lazy way first once you found the folder select the first thing on the list and replace it with a star part is crucial so you can get your tokens to be randomized then just select randomize while card images and one more thing the tokens in this pack are going to be just that little bit small and annoying so you're gonna have to adjust the size to fit i would unselect the lock on scale and actually change it to 1.3 you might have to play around with it a bit but i found 1.3 is the exact commoner size i want and that's the quick and dirty on how to set up a wild card token and a commoner for every single occasion however like i mentioned doing it directly from the pack is going to give you some issues so you're going to have to do a little bit of troubleshooting and figure out what to fix here let me show you what to do occasionally you're going to get the teeny tiny token in this bundle and it's going to be annoying so if you want to fix that follow my lead first thing you need to do is go into the foundry folder where all your tokens are stored depending on your hosting server this might be a little different but copy all of these tokens and paste them in a base folder in your data folder we can just call it for example just make a new folder and call it npc tokens for example and just open it up and then paste all your tokens that you just copied here and now you can start deleting one by one the little teeny tokens if they annoy you or you can fix them in paint by opening them up and removing the outside border so that the token fits sort of the square it's a little bit irritating i would just deal with the small tokens and delete them when they pop up easiest way to do it but if you want meticulous precision on your commoner tokens do this obviously you're going to need to redirect the image path to the new tokens folder and don't forget to put a star i'm also going to show you a module that'll just make this a little bit easier when it comes time to selecting your commoner tokens the module is called token variant art and it's a pretty complicated overall module to use but i'm just going to show you the easiest way i use it with token variant art, you can right click on a token and select the little icon in the bottom right here. And it'll show you the list of all the commoners that are in the folder where you put your wildcard images. And you can sort of browse and select the commoners that you want to pick and choose. And this is how to set up a wildcard commoner token so you can stick a token in any situation in Founder VTT. And yes, the $60 module you bought does have a character gallery where you can browse and look at all the full images. And if you wanted to say, for example, you want to make this lady, a token, you can just create a new actor, call her that, I'll make it for you, and you can drag out the token there. Remember to like and subscribe. Bye.